Hi, my name is Haruka. I'm a tattoo artist here in Tokyo, Japan, and this is how I spend my day. Haruka's day begins with some yoga and meditation. Since her studio is inside her house, she doesn't need to rush to go outside to catch a train or a bus. Mostly, she sets her appointments with her clients from 10 in the morning, and today she told me that there is only one client coming at 11, so she will start setting up her studio around 10.30. After yoga, she spends time with her pets while having her coffee. She is a vegan and she loves animals. You might have noticed that she has quite a few tattoos on her body and many of them are drawn in the memory of the animals she rescued who have passed away. This one on her foot is in the memory of her dog whose name was Boss. I was shocked to know when she told me that most of her tattoos on her legs and feet are drawn by herself. She told me that often tattoo artists practice on themselves before working on clients. Wow. I think that's the definition of passion and dedication. Once Haruka is done eating, it is time for her to get ready for her job. Even though she doesn't go out for work, she does get ready almost as if she's going out. In Japan, it is considered rude if you are not wearing your makeup, especially when you are into some kind of service industry and dealing with your clients. It is a way of showing respect to your customers and that you are ready for the job and not just woke up. I was also told by many of my female Japanese co-workers and friends that Japanese girls never go out without wearing their makeup, which I feel like is kind of changing now. All right guys, so while Haruka is getting ready, just a quick piece of information about like putting on your makeup, especially when you're on public transportation. So in Japan, especially when you're on train, putting on your makeup is considered like rude or impolite even i know that there's uh, there's this commercial where they kind of discourage girls on putting on their makeup while they're on train um, and for me personally what i've observed while taking trains is like there are two groups of people so one group they don't care they don't mind whatever you do because they're just busy in their own world but then the second group really cares they literally stare at you until and unless you finish what you're doing and especially if you are non-japanese and you visit japan Already people are staring at you because they're wondering like, where you're from, what language you speak, and then you are doing your thing, then you get this double trouble stare. So just be aware of it. It's not like illegal or prohibited, like talking on the phone because uh, you will literally see these stickers where they kind of discourage you from talking on your phone or even you get these announcements. But makeup, it's not like, like said, but it is there. So just be aware of it. And I think now Haruka is ready. Let's go back to her. You want to get a tattoo? Well, looks like some action is about to begin. Today, her client wants to get a whale tattoo right below her shoulder. She told me that it will take around two hours to get the job done. However, the process of getting a tattoo begins a long time before her clients come in. That is why when Haruka is not literally drawing a tattoo on her customer's body, she's constantly working with her clients who wish to get a tattoo. Since the ink stays on your body forever, as a tattoo artist, Haruka makes sure that what her customers really want. Because imagine, you allow someone to poke needles in your body millions or maybe more times and then that experience lives with you forever, physically, mentally and even spiritually. I 
If you ever visit Japan, you won't see a lot of people with tattoos because back in the days, if you have one, people presumed that either you were linked to Yakuza organization, prostitution, or someone who has done some prison time. All the negatives. Things have changed now and more and more young people are getting tattoos these days. However, because of the history, it is still not fully accepted and sometimes you have a hard time when it comes to finding a job or going to onsen if your tattoos are too visible. I remember that every time when I had a job interview in Japan, I was always asked if I had a tattoo or not. told me that when she was in elementary school, more than math, science, or other subjects, she was more interested in drawing. And it is great to see that she could do something that she loved and loves doing. Haruka has been working as a tattoo artist for nine years now, and her experience speaks for itself once she gets the job done. <laughs> so beautiful. This customer came here today for a cover tattoo and I could see that she was so satisfied and kept saying that I can't see my old tattoo anymore. Arigato, arigato. Well, nine years of experience. How was it? <laughs> it was fun. Oh really? <laughs> what was the longest tattoo that you ever worked on? What? Yes. <laughs> wow! And did you take breaks or? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Okay, 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 like uh, every two hours. All right. Whenever possible, Haruka takes her dog out for a walk. She told me when she has no time and there's a lot on her plate, her boyfriend who lives in this apartment with her takes that responsibility. The nature of her job doesn't require a lot of physical activity and on top of that, she works from home, therefore going out with her dog is a great way to refresh, plus your dog also needs some playtime. Once Haruka is done feeding her pets and eating her own lunch and completing other chores and errands, she gets back to work. Even though she works from home and has the flexibility to do things at her own pace and time, she still needs to keep up with the schedules and appointments she made with her customers. For example, she told me that she needs to finish this design by the end of the day and share it with her client. But things do not end there. Sometimes they want to make changes in the design she made upon which she has to redo things until and unless they are satisfied. Well guys, that was Haruka's day. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And um, I wonder if you guys have any special tattoo with a special meaning or a story behind. If it's not too personal, would love to know uh, that in the comment section below. Plus, if you're visiting Japan and looking for a bilingual tattoo artist, I'll put Haruka's Instagram in the description box below for you guys to directly contact her. Also, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, smile. Peace.